No time to chat, sorry. I'm busy. Go see Galar. You want to buy something? Ask Galar. We're packing, sorry. loud instead. Wait till the next one.
prepped for this. Given.
Boucher. You like that? Well done. A timely arrival. Many thanks for your help. Clear skies, friend. What's going on here? Those fellows joined my caravan at Copperan. A couple of hours ago, this man stumbled on our path, almost dead. No healing could help him, so I put him in a tent. And I was about to send word to Copperan. Copperan? That's where we're going. Then perhaps you could do me a favor. A favor? Of course, I'll see that you're rewarded. Almost dead? Sick? No. Wounded. Deep wounds. Ripped open, as if by sharp claws. We found him near the road. It looked like he had crawled there. Claw wounds. And no healing could help him? That's right. The wounds were oozing. It's a wonder he was still alive. Why send word? Because this man was a corporal on the Copperin Watch. You want us to take word of his death to Copperin? Yes. Take this note and his personal effects to Sergeant Nikonen. Have him countersign the note, then see my agent. He is the owner of the general's store. Meanwhile, get some rest and share our camp. We can even sell you some equipment. Many thanks for your hospitality. No time to chat, sorry. You want to buy something? Ask Galar. I'm busy. Go see Galar.
An extraordinary jump. seek entrance to our fair valley? Yes, we do. Then go see Sergeant Nikonin in the guardhouse. Thank you. Clear skies. Stay in the light. Good day. I'm Sergeant Nikonin, officer of the day. What business brings you to Copperan? Well, Sarge, we found something of yours on the way here. Of mine? What exactly? Here they are, Sarge. The ring, the badge, the insignia. The man who wore those was of middling height. Broad shoulders, dark hair, and a broken nose. Am I right? Correct. You knew him then? He broke his nose after an exchange of views behind the barracks. Raoul tried to headbutt his basic training instructor. That was me. Now tell me, what happened to my good friend Raoul? First, please accept our sincere condolences. Thanks. Now tell me where, when, how, and who. Two days ago. It was at a small camp in some Manakalan ruins. He was found almost dead by the caravan people. They tried to heal him, and then some travelers in the caravan rushed in to kill your friend and the guards Master Gala had posted. And no idea who those guys were? No, Sarge. They looked like common mercs to me. Did Roald say anything to you? It was too late for him. Dire news. Listen, go and speak to the Senad. Tell him everything. And why not the Baron? The Senad is the ruler of the Vale of Caparan. But we need to talk to the Baron. You won't talk to him without my leave. Talk to the Senad first, and then... Here, my signature on the letter from Gala. 
ticket to Master Warmhearth at the general store. And here's a note for the Senard. Stay in the light. Is this Baron really a dwarf? Are there dwarf? I can't call a dwarf, my lord, can I? That sounds wrong. Charming little town. Well met. What can we do for you on this fine morning? What'd you sell? Well met. What can we... Clear skies to you. Master Golden Tongue sent this letter. Of course, of course. Hmm. Yes. Master Golden Tongue's instructions are quite clear. Here's your money, and here's a receipt to sign. Would you be interested in sampling our wares? We should go. Pleasure doing business with you. Stay in the light. Well met. We should go. Pleasure doing business with you. Stay in the light. Sun on your face, travelers. My name is Atina Bladeburn, priestess of Aaron. What can I do for you? We need your powers.
Are you the local boss of the scavengers? Eh, yeah, you could say that. Not boss of much, I'm afraid. We used to have adventurers raiding around here, but now, just one. One? Yeah, she's around somewhere. You might run into her. We found an old Timarian monastery south of here. Yeah? Tell me where. We'll take care of it. Clear skies. Joris Nikonen says you have an interesting story to tell. Clear skies to you, my lord. Well, it all began when we came upon this caravan. Go on. Hmm. Military matters I usually leave in the more than competent hands of the Baron. But Nikonen sent you to me. You see... He is a rarity in the Stonefist Mercenary Company, the one old hand who was born here. We have known each other almost all our lives. He is the reason Stonefist came to our aid during the Orc invasion. And he sent you to me? That's odd. Why did you come to Koparan? An Orc invasion? Happened about 15 years ago. Several tribes got together, whipped to a frenzy by a shaman. They hit us hard and opened a breach, got a foothold in the outer works, and were about to hit the town. Then Gromnir hit them from behind, and they were between hammer and anvil. The Stonefist Mercenary Company? 
Our military force, since they helped us repel the orc invasion. Who's Stonefist? Gromnir Stonefist, founder of the Stonefist Mercenary Company. That doesn't answer my question. Our current mission is to escort Lady Cathayla. Corporan was the seat of her family before the Cataclysm. And uh, Lady Cathayla is on a nostalgia trip? Far from it. One of her ancestors left family heirlooms hidden in the fortress. Among those heirlooms, we hope to find clues about the next stage of our quest. Old elven nobility, I am sure I have never seen you before, Lady Cathayla. So tell me something about Corporan that a newcomer or even a casual visitor can't know. In a side valley, there is an imperial mausoleum of Lanarak, home of the honored dead. What's Lanirach? A very particular kind of marble. Very precious. The traditional stone for the honored dead. A place of remembrance. Yes, for the honored dead who fell in battle for the Empire. There is indeed an ancient imperial mausoleum in a side valley, sealed off since the fall of Manakalan. Not many know of it. Thank you, my lady. I am convinced. As for the rest of you, you said you were sent by the Legacy Council? We see a lot of Council agents on their way to the Badlands, and they bring a lot of rumors. So tell me, is there any truth to the rumor that the Sorex are back? Yes. Can they truly possess others? Not possess exactly. What they do is worse. If you believe the tales that the Paladins of Einar recovered from their archives... Do me a favor. Walk around our city, talk to the people. Then report your impressions to Sergeant Nikonin. Not a word about what you told me, though. Do you believe the Sorax are in Copperan? I'll say no more for the time being. Walk the streets, then see Nikonin. Meanwhile, stay in the light. Clear skies to you, Senard. This town is really dirty. rather silly really this young man he asked me for a specific design so he could propose so he probably gambled the money away not him straight arrow on the fast track to sergeant or I, I asked around so where is this paragon of yours consigned to guard duty a whole week and that just on his return from patrol See my Eric? He is due some liberty. Lass, I already told you. He's assigned to guard duty. A whole week of it? And that after two weeks on patrol? No. He just doesn't want to see me anymore. Now, Lass, don't you fret. It's not that at all. The old man has his whole patrol on guard duty in the basement ever since they came back. Something's up. Whatever it is, it can't be good.
Mistress Mildred, the brewer wants to know when to bring the next delivery of ale. He doesn't want it to go stale. He has his reputation to consider. If only the Stone Fist had let his thirsty patrol out on leave as usual. But now, we've only got the regulars and the ale's not moving too fast. Take him two empty barrels and get two new. It's the best we can do right now. Welcome to the inn. We should go. Stay in the light. Well met. What can we do for you on this fine morning? The Senad sent us to talk to you. Anything unusual in the last days? Well, the Baron came back with a bunch of prisoners. High women, apparently. I'm wondering why they didn't hang them on the spot. Hanging, eh? Would that be the normal practice? Yes. You don't need that many prisoners to make them talk, if you ask me. We should go. Pleasure doing business with you. Stay in the light. Sun on your face, travelers. What can I do for you? Just passing by to pay our respects. Not me. Then good luck and fair weather, friends. Stay in the light. Access to the canyon is blocked for the moment. You can't go to the other side. Move on. The Senard's up in mad. Why is that? The whole week he's been waiting and still no meeting with the Baron. Well, that's weird. Usually they meet every day at least. 
like an old couple of two of them. Well met again. So, you've had a chance to walk around the city and hear what people are saying? So, what do you think? Something is wrong here. Soldiers back from a patrol denied leave, posted to guard duty instead of visiting the tavern. The story with the highwaymen is also weird. Why keep them prisoner, huh? Normally, the penalty is clear and swift. On the frontier, you don't feed idle people, particularly not scum like the highwaymen. At best, you put them to work. At worst, they become fertilizer. There are two things I didn't mention in our last conversation. Things about Roald and the Baron. What about Roald? When you told me of Roald's death and returned his personal effects, I was speechless. Not out of grief, but because not a week before, Roald had come back from patrol. You mean one of them is not who he seems? What about the Baron? I've known him for 20 years. I was a founding member of the company. Now, for the first time in ten years, I am Officer of the Day posted here, and that's not all. For the last ten years, he's always called me Joris. Now, all of a sudden, it's back to Nikonin. Something's wrong. I can feel it. Suggestion, Serge? The Senard mentioned your mission. He and I go back a long way. So, go to see the Baron and tell him your heirloom story. I know what his normal reaction would be. So come back, and we can compare notes. And if I were you, I wouldn't mention Roald, the caravan, or anything else. Clear skies to you. Greetings, adventurers. Sergeant Nikonin says you want to see me on some urgent matter? Yes. It concerns our traveling companion, Lady Kitaela. Then let her speak for herself. My lord, before the Cataclysm, this valley was in the care of my family. Alas, only a few of us managed to survive, and none at all in the valley. A sad tale, my lady, but not uncommon. Those were dire times. My father passed away recently. Upon his deathbed, he mentioned some family heirlooms left in a hidden room somewhere in the fortress. With your leave, my lord, I would like to search for this hidden room and retrieve my family's belongings. Out of the question. This is my castle, and all in it belongs to me. Now be gone and be glad that, as a guest, 
you are protected by our customs. Otherwise, your impudence would land you in the dungeon. He's rude, but he's a dwarf after all. Ah, you're back. How did the audience go? Clear skies. Well, he didn't imprison us. Just threw us out. Just threw you out? That's not like him at all. Oh, he's not always so generous to strangers. No, just pragmatic and smart. Smart? Of course, smart. If we assume Lady Kithaela's story is true, then arresting her or coercing her could have drawn the ire of an elven clan. A pretty stupid move for stuff which might only have sentimental value, so not like Gromny at all. Pragmatic. It would be cheaper to let you find the heirlooms under close escort. He'd demand a fee, but it's easier than having to search for himself. Fine. What do you suggest? Let me make some preparations. You go back to him tomorrow, as envoys of the Legacy Council. He is a nice dwarf. We'd like to stay for the night. Sure, get settled. <laughs> 